Simon says subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hi there everyone and welcome to another lesson. In this video we're going to learn how can we change numbers to percentages. As an example right in front of me, I have a list of students with marks obtained and the total marks. And if I have to find the percentages, it is pretty simple. You simply go to the cell right under the percentage and put equals to marks obtained cells, which is D6 in this case, forward slash, which is just left to the shift button on your keyboard, divided by the totals. Now, once I click enter, I'm going to have a decimal value for 64 divided by 100. Now, if I have to convert it into percentages, I simply need to go to Home tab, find the section of Numbers, and there I have a percentage sign. I can simply click on it, and the whole decimal value is converted into percentages. I can drag all of this for the data that is available. Now, all of these Obtain marks divided by totals are converted into percentages. In case the totals are different, like if it's not 23 divided by 100, so I can simply go here, shift it to 50, and the percentage is automatically going to change. Now, another way of changing a certain amount of numbers into percentages without having the totals is that if you have all these numbers in front of you, and you just want to add a percentage sign. So you can simply go here and put a percentage sign, but that's going to take you a lot of time. That's not the right way of doing it. What you have to do is select all of those values which you want the percentage sign to appear with. Once you've done that, you click Control Shift F for formatting cells. A pop-up dialog is going to open in front of you and you go to the Numbers section and go to the category of Custom. Once you go to Custom, instead of General, you have to select the zero and you put a backslash, which is right above the Enter button on your keyboard, and then you're going to add the percentage sign. Here is a sample which is showing what this whole formula would look like. You click on OK and the percentage signs are automatically added. That's how you have two different ways of adding and changing numbers to percentages in Excel. Thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.